Hi everybody, I would like to talk to you today about changing the theme in your Experience Cloud site. If you do not have an Experience Cloud site and you're not familiar with it, please go watch my playlist that walks you through step by step. Otherwise, we um, are in the builder for those who have done Experience Cloud sites. From starting in the builder, when you pick a an Experience Cloud site, you set up a theme. There's different themes. They are just the visual appearance. Sometimes you create one and then you realize you want to change your theme. There's a lot of reasons. Different themes offer different value or different things that you can do with them. They look different. If I go to settings and I go to theme, I can see I've signed up for the Jepson theme and I'm using the customer service template. The biggest scare in changing a theme is if you have your site set up, you don't want to lose anything. I've made this mock site. I've done a lot of videos with it. There's a lot of things going on and I have several pages and navigation. I wanna show you what happens when I change my theme. I'm gonna hit change. Let's go with welcome to paradise. This is citizen. What's gonna say, do you wanna activate it? I'll say, yeah. You're gonna give it a few minutes depending on how much content is on your site. Now, what just happened? Well, things do look different. I still have my navigation menu. If I scroll down, I still have the content that I put on. Let's go to preview. Let's see if we can hit some buttons here, my projects. This is exactly what I had on the page. This is not any different. I had some tabs to show you what tabs look like. My experience, this is just a random page I had. One thing that has changed a bit is the home page. My images are still in there. They haven't gone anywhere. Let's say you change this and you panic and say, no, 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 I want my other one back. Let's go back to the builder, to our theme. Jepson is still here. Let's activate it and see what happens. So it takes a minute or two. There you go. I can see is different is I've got a different type style menu. I don't have a little notification bell. My picture is different and what I have here is different. Let's go back and change it. I'm gonna show you what to do when you change it and things look a little different. Let's activate Citizen again. We're gonna go just check out the options. A lot of Experience Cloud is just seeing the options. As I click on things, this says Hero. You see how things change as I move around? Let me just click on what options I have. Let's see the background, which is already set. Let's clear it. My other background should already be uploaded. I'm just gonna go find it real quick. It's right here. Let's add that. This is interesting because my other background, you had less of the image that you could see. Maybe I'll like this better because I can see more. If I go to preview, I do like that I could see more of my image. Let's go back to the builder. I'm gonna go up here where it says compact header because I don't want the notification bell, the search bar or a profile because this is a public site. I'm gonna go and see my options under layout. Here we go. Take the notifications off, the profile menu. I don't want that. I don't want search. That's pretty much the same as the last one that I was looking at. My menus are different. Let me go back to layout and show you. If I put center logo, it's going to give me new options. I can display my navigation on the right or the left by adjusting this. I want to use slide out navigation. Now I have my navigation menu the same as before. I'm also noticing differences. I didn't have this. So I'm going to go here to theme, click this, go to images. See where this says citizens? That's, that is what sets it. I can put any image in there. If I have a logo, I could, but I'm going to clear that because I don't like it sitting up there. Another thing I notice, let me go back to preview and hit this. Yep, some CSS, custom CSS settings that I had put in earlier are gone. I'll tell you what that is real quick and you can go watch the video on that. I had this set up to my site colors. When I clicked on it, these matched my site colors. Right now that's not important. Let's go back to my builder. Previously, I've already set up my branding guide. I want to make sure I still have my colors. Let's go over here to hero, click hero, and we're going to go to content. I did not have caption text before, but I did have my name and title text. I'm going to put that back in there. This primary button, I want to call it my linked. I can put my LinkedIn URL right there, which I do have on my original portfolio. I'm going to copy that link. We'll just put it right here. What that'll do is that'll open up 
to my LinkedIn. I do want the color on my button to match. And since I didn't write it down or I don't have it with me right now, I'm going to guess on that. Let's go back to the button and the button background color. I'm going to click on use theme and go to custom. I'm going to move my color around to get a little closer. It was definitely a more accessible color right now. It's, it's, a little too bright. When I mean by accessibility, it means people with different abilities can read it. They might have color blindness or some other kind of visual impairment. But then I don't want the background to be that color. I'm going to drag this over, which makes it translucent. I don't need a background color. If I want to make the corners rounded, I can move this little button. Generally, I like 10. There's a border. Let's change the border color to solid white. You can see I have a border of white. When I hover over it, it disappears because it's translucent. The other thing I can do is I want to say the button text color is different. I'm going to go to custom and make it black, but that is only when it's like this. And then when I hover, it turns white. Those are some fun things you can do, but you can change your theme. It's not going to mess anything up. You may have to make a few adjustments. I can preview it right here. I like the way it looks. It shows more of my picture that I wanted on the top. And there's one other change. If I click on the hero image on the background, I have different options. I can make it fit, but then we can see how it looks. I don't particularly like that. So I'm going to do scale to fill. And maybe I want more of the bottom to show. So I could say bottom center. That shifts my picture. But I don't because I do like the top. Let's go to top right. There we go. I like it like that. Those are some options you can do. Go change your theme, mess around with it. And as always, don't forget to hit publish because publish is the same thing as save. And that is what's going to save your changes. It only took a minute. It's ready. I can go make any other changes that I'd like. Go check out my other videos. I have lots of fun tweaks and little tips that you can do to make changes to your site.